The thermodynamics mode option in Thermoflow enables the user to solve common classic engineering problems from any direction and for any set of unknowns, provided that the problem is well posed with enough information given to yield a solution. A typical engineering problem is broken into a number of components and endpoints. A thermodynamic mode component has one or more inlets and one or more outlets. Recall that the standard mode parts have only one inlet and one outlet. Endpoints are attached to these inlets and outlets. They provide the thermodynamic state of the working fluid at these locations. The endpoint state is termed fixed at any duration if two of its independent properties are either specified or calculated. Once the state is fixed, all other properties for the endpoint are available for component and system calculations. The user can insert any number of connection nodes within the ideal connecting lines between the components to keep the display organized, but in reality, all these points are represented using a single endpoint in the solver, and they share the same thermodynamic state. In other words, there is always a single endpoint between adjacent component ports which represents the inlet to one and outlet to the other. As in the standard mode, the flow path can be closed like we have in this model or open to the ambient. All open flow paths must be terminated using an endpoint TC component representing inlets and outlets. Models can have any number of open or closed flow paths. For each flow path, the user must specify the working fluid by right-clicking on any node, selecting Set Loop Fluid option, and double-clicking on the resulting icon to choose a fluid from the NIST library or the user-defined set. The user can also set pressure or any other state properties, including temperature, internal energy, enthalpy, entropy, quality, density, and mass flow rate at any node. Each component type in Thermoflow has its behavior dictated by its variables, characteristic set of equations, and inlet and outlet conditions. There are many components available. Let's take a closer look into some of these components. Pressure and work components consist of turbines, compressors, and pumps. In these devices, the primary variables are heat rate, pressure drop or ratio, power, and isentropic efficiency. The user may provide input to any variable by clicking the checkbox on and entering a value for it either as a constant or any mathematical expression. If the checkbox for the heat rate is not set, it will either be calculated if there are enough information available or assumed zero for ideal conditions. Units are available for any variable on the drop-down list box. Note that for this particular turbine, it's not necessary to provide any primary variables as there is enough information to calculate these from endpoint state properties. The secondary variables are available by clicking on the frame tabs. If there is enough information, their value will be calculated during the run. Otherwise, their effects will be neglected. Here, the changes in the potential and kinetic energies will be neglected as there are no information available for high change and inlet and outlet areas. The Surroundings tab gives the user the opportunity to set the ambient pressure and ambient temperature which can be used in second law calculations. Another group of components are the single path heat transfer devices which includes condensers, evaporators, boilers, and in general any heating chamber. The primary variable here is the heat rate which the user can set as positive to indicate heat in 
or negative for heat out of the device. Or alternatively, it will be solved for. The user can also account for the pressure losses in the system by either entering a value for the pressure drop or set the switch for set pipe losses to enter values for the minor and friction losses. Note that the mixing chambers and dividers are used to combine or divide the flow. The mass flow rate for each inlet and outlet may be calculated automatically using the continuity equation if enough information is provided. Otherwise, the user can set them using the component properties form. This represents a significant difference in approach between thermoflow standard mode and thermodynamics mode. Recall that in the standard mode, several parts can be connected using a connection point, whereas in the thermodynamics mode, the user must insert the mixer or divider component for all flow branches. The pipe component is the ideal tool for studying internal flows in pipes and ducts. The pipe's property form allows the user to enter any set of known pipe parameters and solve for the unknowns. You can set the diameter, length, and the pipe pressure drop using all losses, including the minor losses and the friction factor, either directly or using the surface roughness value. Alternatively, the user can solve for the pressure drop and any of these losses or set the pressure drop directly using this option. The Advanced tab allows the user to set or solve for the height change, the pump power and efficiency, and the heat rate. All this is illustrated in a step-by-step -step training video titled Viscous Flow in a Pipe. This video walks you through all the steps necessary to create a model for a pipe system and analyze for different unknowns. Heat exchanger components give the user the capability to transfer heat from a thermodynamics flow path to another flow path which can be standard or thermodynamics. In this model, a cross-flow heat exchanger is used to transfer heat from the engine coolant to a refrigeration system. These heat exchanger components are based on Kazan London's heat exchanger approach. The user may provide or solve for any of the heat exchanger parameters in the properties menu. These include the NTU or number of transfer units, the UA coefficient which is the overall conductance between the two flow paths, the exchanger effectiveness, and the heat rate. Then the user chooses the arrangement type from the pull-down list box. Next, for each flow path the user must specify single phase or two phase path type and optionally provide the path details. These include the pressure drop, length, minor losses, roughness, high change, and the area and perimeter. Similar to other thermodynamic components, the heat exchanger can be analyzed from any direction to arrive at a solution for various unknowns. The training video entitled Crossflow Heat Exchanger shows all the steps necessary in modeling and simulation of basic heat exchangers using a textbook example.